Okay, uh, let's talk about the tests for symmetries. We have three symmetries, symmetric with respect to x-axis, symmetric with respect to y-axis, and symmetric with respect to the origin. So th we will have three tests. So for the x-axis, how we test the symmetry? So we replace y by negative y in the equation and simplify it. If we can get back the original equation, then the graph is symmetric with respect to x-axis. If we cannot get back the original equation, the uh, graph is not symmetric with respect to the origin uh, x-axis x-axis okay so this is the first the test we want to know if it's a symmetric with respect to x-axis. Let's check. For example, uh, let me find some example. Uh, for example, if we have, what do we have? We have y squared. y squared equal to x plus 4. y squared equal to x plus 4. Then what we have? We have, uh, we replace, replace y by negative y, just directly replace y by negative y. So we will have negative y squared. So be careful, you have to put parentheses because here is a y squared, this y is replaced by negative y, so it's a one quantity. So it's negative y squared equal to x plus four. And then this is the new equation, okay? You see, in the equation, you replace it and simplify. How do we simplify? Negative y squared is equal to y squared. Okay, this is a simplification. After simplification, you see, you get exactly the original equation. You get back the original equation. So you get conclusion, the graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Symmetric with respect to the x-axis, okay? Okay, now let's look at, this is a, the positive example. Let's see a negative example. So if you have y is equal to cube root of x. This is our original equation. And we replace, you don't have to write it, I just, we replace y by negative y, you will get a negative y is equal to cube root of x. And this one is already simplified. There's no way to simplify. And this one is totally different from it. You have a different sign. So the graph is not symmetric with 
trace back to the x-axis. It's not a uh, symmetric with respect to x because you can never go back to the original equation from here. No way to simplify. Okay, so that's a negative example. Here is a positive example. It's about symmetry with respect to the x-axis. For x-axis, change y. Okay, for x-axis, you're going to change y. x does not change. x is like the mirror, it, uh, it's fixed. Okay, the test of, of the symmetry for the y-axis For the y-axis, we actually, okay. Symmetry for x-axis, you change y. Symmetry for y-axis, you change x. So replace the same sentence. Replace x by negative x in the equation and simplify. If you can get the original get back the original equation then the graph is symmetric ways respect to the y-axis If not, the graph is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Okay, so that's all. That's it. Okay, so how do we how do we apply it? For example. If you have x squared minus y minus 4 equal to 0, you want to test if the graph is symmetric with respect to y-axis or not. So you're going to replace x by negative x. Okay, whenever you put x by negative x, don't forget the parenthesis. Whenever you see x, you, you write parenthesis negative x. Here's x squared, it's a parenthesis negative x squared and minus y minus four. And negative x squared, negative sign will be canceled, right? It's negative x times negative x, two negative signs canceled. We have x squared minus y minus four equal to zero. This again is not to solve the equation. You just simplify the formula. You simplify it, you see this is identical to the original equation, so the graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. You manipulate x is symmetric with respect to y-axis. You manipulate the x, uh, you, man, uh, you, you manipulate the y, it is symmetric with respect to x-axis. It's always opposite. Okay, this is uh, uh, the example about the symmetry with respect to y-axis. Of course, we can get a symmetry, uh, not, not uh, example. For example, this one. We still use this one. We get y squared equal to x plus 4. If you replace x by negative x, you will get a y squared equal to negative x plus 4. You drop the parenthesis, it's negative x plus 4. Negative x plus 4, x plus 4, there's no way to transform. There's no way to transform, so the graph is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Okay? It's not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Okay, so it's about the x-axis, y-axis. What happens if we have 
the origin. We are going to replace. So this time there's no axis, no y axis. So we are going to replace x by negative x, y by negative y together in the equation. And then and simplify. Simplified. Again, if you get back the original equation, the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. If not, if you cannot get back, the graph is not symmetric with respect to the origin. See? So for the origin, you're going to replace them both. We're going to replace them both. See the example? We always play with the example. We have y is equal to cube root of x. This was uh, uh, the example we used. This was the example we used. For this one, let's check. Uh, we replace x by negative x and y by negative y. So we get negative y is the left hand side is equal to cube root of negative x. Okay, this is new equation. How do we simplify it? We can move the negative sign outside the cube root because it's a cube root. You can move it. Whatever other root function, always move the negative sign outside. And then you multiply two sides by negative one. See, you, go, you get back your original equation. Again, this is not to solve the equation. We just do the algebraic operation, algebraic manipulation. Okay. Since we can get back the original equation, the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay. Uh, well, let's see another example, which is not. So assume y is, uh, uh, for example, x squared minus 3x minus 4, quadratic polynomial function. So let x be negative x, y be negative y. Let's check it. So y becomes negative y, x is negative x, so it's negative x squared minus 3 times negative x and minus 4. So it's negative y is equal to x squared. Negative x squared is x squared. It's a plus 3x and minus 4. Even we multiply this equation by negative 1. So you get negative x squared minus 3x and plus 4. And this function, these, this function, they are not the same thing. So the graph is not symmetric. It's not symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay, so this one is different, totally different. You have no way to change this plus, minus, minus, and minus, minus, plus. You can never change them together. Interchange, okay. Okay, so this is our, our three tests for the symmetries in three different cases, okay? Do your own computation and understand the symmetry. Sometimes the function has multiple symmetries. For example, if you have x squared plus y squared equal to 1, you replace x by negative x,
you get back the original equation. So it's a symmetric with respect to the, so you manipulate the x, x, the x variable. It's a symmetric with respect to y axis. You manipulate y see negative y squared still y squared so you still get the x squared plus y squared to one so it's a symmetric with respect to the x-axis you handle y it is symmetric with respect to x-axis and if you move the if you change them together you still go back to the origin uh, original equation so it's a symmetric with respect to the origin. So this is a very good shape. It's, it has a multiple symmetry. Sometimes it has one symmetry. Sometimes it has two. Sometimes it has no symmetry. For example, this one you can try. It does, it is, the graph is not symmetric with respect to x-axis. The graph is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis, neither. Or ori need, need the origin, so it, there's no symmetry. All right, so that is a. Uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, example. Okay, so now let's try to memorize some basic shape. No how to graph key equations. Key equations just commonly used equations, right? So for example, y equal to x cubed. y equal to x cubed, you see here, it is symmetric, it is not symmetric about that y-axis how do I a uh, y-axis how do I know it for symmetry y-axis y-axis you're going to change x so y e equal to negative x cubed it is just negative x cubed the original equation is y equal to x cubed so they're different so not symmetric okay x-axis you are talking about the symmetry about uh, with respect to x-axis, you're changing y. It's still y equal to negative x cubed. It's not the original equation, so it's not symmetric with respect to x-axis, neither. And the origin, origin means you're going to change y to be negative y, x to be negative x. And then, negative x cubed is a negative of x cubed. You multiply two sides by negative one, you get a y is equal to x cubed, okay? Okay, then this is the original equation, so it, yes, symmetric. So from this test, we know that the graph of y equal to x cubed, the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. With respect to the origin, it means if you can sketch the graph for the right part, you rotate it 180 degrees, you will get the left part. Okay, so that is the usage of the symmetry. All right, so let's check. We are going to just check the uh, x equal to 1, uh, 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2, x equal to 3, x equal to 4, and it's going to be a big number. So 4, oh wow, uh, we possibly couldn't plot 4. 4 is x, uh, four, to 4 cubed. What is a 4 cubed? 4 cubed is a 64. If we have the same scale, that's impossible to plot a 64. So 1, 2, let's put a 1, 2. 2, even for 2, 2 cubed is 8, it's already 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so 
So number two is already here. One is one. Zero is zero. So it's it's like this. Okay? And once you get this curve, you rotate it pi uh, 180 degrees, you will get this. Right? You imagine that you rotate it down 180 degrees. This is a negative one cubed is negative one. Negative two cubed is negative eight. So it's this way. And also the uh, intercept. Intercept. X intercept. X intercept. Y is zero. So let Y be zero. You solve for the equation. X cubed is zero. Then X is zero. So there's no. There's only one X intercept. Y intercept. Y intercept. X is zero. Y intercept is y equal to zero. So there's only one intersection point with a coordinate system, zero, zero. This is a unique intercept. Okay? So that is uh, the graph of uh, y equal to x cubed. Y equal to x cubed. All right. And another example. Let's try to graph the equation x equal to y squared x equal to y squared so you have square you see that if you check uh, if you check the symmetry if the symmetry with respect to x axis with respect to x axis x does not change y changes so you replace y by negative y and square it negative y squared is y squared so you get x is equal to y squared and this is the original equation, so yes. So yes means the, the graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. And then you test for y-axis. For y-axis, you replace x by negative x. And this one is not the original equation. If both sides had negative sign, you can multiply, multiply the equation by negative one. But here, only one side has negative sign. There's nothing you can do. So they're different, so here's no origin you let x be negative x y be negative y but negative y squared is y squared see you still get the the case the same case as a symmetry with respect to x or y axis so it's not the original equation so no so after you test those three you see that the graph is symmetric ways respect to the x-axis if it is symmetric with respect to the x-axis it means it's like this like this to hand and they are called they when you fold it along the x-axis uh, two graphs are two graphs will coincide okay so we are going to just draw the top curve we're going to draw the top curve and we fold it, we will get the bottom curve. Flip it, we flip it, we will get the bottom curve. All right? So the, remember, we're going to only just get the uh, top curve. Top curve means Y is positive. Okay, so you are going to choose Y equal to 1, Y equal to 2, Y equal to 3, possible at most, and Y equal to 0. When y is 0, x is 0. y is 1, x is 1. y is 2, x is 4. y is 3, x is 9. So let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's possibly here. x is 9. y, 1, 2, 3. OK? y is 0, x is 0, this point. y is 1, x is 1, this point. y is 2, x is 4. y is 2, x is 4. 1, 2, 3. Y is 3, X is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is here. So you connect them. This is a top graph. When you have top graph, you flip it, you will have the bottom graph because the graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. See? That's a way to graph it. And again, the intersection. 
the axis intercept the axis intercept y is equal to zero we let y be zero so x is equal to zero square so x equal to zero is a unique axis intercept the y intercept the y intercept x is equal to zero so x is zero zero is equal to y squared so y is equal to zero so this is a unique intercept it gave you the x intercept to zero and the y intercept to zero all right that's it okay so next so we ha we have the power function x cubed we have the power uh, the, the the other power function y equal to uh, x equal to y squared open to the right and another example let's see the reciprocal function y is equal to 1 over x y is equal to 1 over x let's check the symmetry of course if you replace x by x it's negative 1 over x it's not the original equation so there's no symmetry with respect to y axis x to negative x is a y axis y to negative y is still known this is x axis you change y is symmetry with respect to x axis and the possible way is is to do them together you change uh, you change x to negative x y to negative y and this time you can multiply two sides by negative one to cancel both negative sides and this is the original equation so yes and this is the origin so you can say that the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin if it is symmetric with respect to the origin means you're going to just draw the top part and rotate it 180 degrees to get the other part okay so how do we draw it this is a reciprocal function so when x is a one uh, here x cannot be zero so zero is not going to happen x is a one y is a one x is two y is a half x is a three y is one third x is a four y is a quarter and then when x is a one over four y is a four you flip them x is a one over three y is a three x is one half y is two so one two three one two three one one is here x one y is one x two y is one half x three y is one over three and x four y is one over four and x is one over four y is a four one half four is here x is a one over three y is a one uh, y is a three so it's possibly here x is one half y is two x is one half y is two okay so you just connect those cur uh, points by a smooth curve just give me idea that's enough yeah okay so that's the right part and the left part you just rotate it 180 degrees you will imagine that it's more or less like this and this is a graph of a reciprocal function and the intercept x intercept x intercept y is zero so you let y to be zero y is y is one of x one of x is never equal to zero no solution and y intercept y intercept x is equal to zero but x cannot be zero undefined So this graph or this function, uh, the, the graph of this function has no intercept. The graph has no x intercept. 
and the y intercept. Okay, and that's it. So for this section, it introduces the graphs, it introduces the symmetry, and introduces the, the intercept. So there's some material in this section. You have to do the exercise and the practice and get the idea, especially about the symmetry. You have to know how to play with the symmetry. Okay, so do the exercise, send me email if you have questions. Thank you.